In this video, we describe an in-painting method for removing dynamic objects that occlude static scene backgrounds. Our method receives as input a video and a mask marking both the dynamic object to be removed and the other dynamic objects that should remain in the scene. To remove objects, we first align frames to each other and then compute a composite of these aligned frames such that we can replace the object to be removed with background. In a post-processing step, we perform gradient domain fusion to remove illumination differences. For aligning a pair of frames, we find a set of candidate homographies which are computed from sparse keypoint matches using RANSAC. For instance, on this frame pair, the algorithm finds four homographies, one for the facade, one for the ground, one for the tree, and one for the showcase. In the middle row, we measure the alignment error for each homography. This error is low for each corresponding region of the scene. In addition, we measure the agreement between each homography and an estimate of the fundamental matrix. In the middle row, regions where the homography is in good agreement with the fundamental matrix are shown in blue, and where they are not are shown in red. Based on the alignment error and the agreement with the fundamental matrix, we select different tomographies for aligning different regions of the scene. In the bottom row, we show the region selected for each homography and the resulting frame alignment. The alignment error, shown in the middle row, is reduced after adding each homography. We use the average of the aligned sources as a guide to compute the impainted result. This impainting is computed as a composite of aligned regions that are in good agreement with each other and in good agreement with the boundary of the whole. In the last step, we perform gradient domain fusion using Poisson blending for removing the illumination differences between different sources. We demonstrate our algorithm on seven different sequences. In this sequence, we remove a person that is occluded by other people. The scene contains two dominant textured planes. Off-plane objects, such as this lamp, can still be in-painted since our method requires only one correct frame alignment to produce a good in-painting result. S3 is a challenging sequence for our algorithm. Motion blur and the lack of distinctive features on the ground make it a challenge to detect good homographies for aligning frames. In addition, thin structures with narrow support, such as the bare trees, could not be properly aligned. In this scene, our algorithm produces plausible in paintings, since our model assumptions are well satisfied. Parts of the shadow of the person to be removed are visible even after gradient domain fusion, since, as these shadow parts are difficult to see, they were not completely marked in the input mask. This could be corrected by providing more accurate masks. In addition, the mask around the semi-transparent hair of the person is not always accurate, and this can lead to temporal inconsistencies. Despite these challenges, our method produces in-paintings that are perceptually plausible. The last sequence was captured with small camera motion and with a zoom into the person in the centre. For comparison, we in-paint this sequence using a non-parametric method which assumes a static camera. Despite the fact that the camera motion is small, these methods fail to produce geometrically consistent results. This sequence is also challenging for in-painting methods based on structure from motion and multi-view stereo. The narrow baseline and the variable focal length makes it difficult to perform camera calibration. We exemplify with this failed reconstruction. Only 60% of the cameras could be recovered and the corresponding recovered structure is flat there are also cameras that are located behind the scene. Our method does not require a complete camera calibration, and for this reason it is not affected by these limitations. Thank you for your attention.